saving water in irrigation system. Here we have used drip irrigation system as it provides drop by drop water at the root of the plant which optimizes water uses. Two features are here. Sensing and controlling of moisture at root of the plant. Getting moisture status of the soil at root of the plant and wirelessly sending that status to the farmer. For local indication of moisture and control of moisture, we have used one part of controlling system. For wireless communication between farmer and field, we have used separate part of controlling setup. Two solenoid valves have been used here. One solenoid is for normal watering operation, another one is for fail safe operation. To take flow signal to our controlling system, we have tried to incorporate a flow indication switch by using simple needles. This is a view of complete setup. Starting a little demonstration. Our project is saving water in the irrigation system. As we know that India is an agriculture-oriented country and the bleeding of water is a great threat for us. So we have to bring some solution. For this purpose, uh, there are several types of irrigation systems, but we have used drip irrigation system because it has potential to save water by dropping water from ice into the roots using this uh, tubes and empty. This is moisture sensor at plant root and this is whole electronic circuitry. Sensor is in soil at the root of plant. This moisture sensor will sense that whether the moisture is high or low. If the moisture is low, the solid and bulb is automatically switched on and water will flow through these tubes. When the moisture is low, then water will flow. If the moisture is high, the solid and bulb will automatically switch off. This is our main continuous process. See now, moisture at root is high. No water is coming out from nozzle. And we can see the watering status here. See, here it is showing moisture is high, no watering. To show dry situation, we deliberately putting the moisture sensor out from soil. Water should start to flow. See, water is coming out through nozzle to plant root. It will increase the soil moisture. On LCD, we can see present watering status. See, it is showing less moisture watering by valve 1. At this stage, if sensor is into the soil, it will sense high moisture and stop watering. Deliberately entered sensor into soil to show it. As sensor is now sensing high moisture, watering will automatically be stopped and an indication we will get on the LCD. See, it is showing moisture is high, no watering. No water should come out through nozzle. See, no water is coming out. Solenoid valve should be off. No doubt it is off, so no water is coming out. We have also added some pairs and operation. Instead of one solenoid valve, we have used two solenoid bulbs. If if one solenoid bulb get damaged, or solenoid bulb two will get automatically switched on. Second fail safe operation is that the if uh, the farmer will if any manufacturing over here in solenoid bulb, the farmer will receive a message. It's an indication. And in any time farmer can know the exact condition or the status of his farm. Only using SMS. Now showing how farmer can get moisture status at any moment. Deliberately bringing out the sensor from soil to show dry situation. See it is indicating less moisture watering by valve 1. Say this is farmer's mobile and farmer is sending SMS to check moisture status. As per the program to check the moisture status the SMS should be moisture test. Sending the SMS moisture test. SMS has been sent. We can see GSM has received the SMS moisture test. And after checking moisture signal, it is showing less moisture watering by solenoid valve. And same SMS should automatically reach to farmer's mobile.
See, farmer received the message less moisture watering by solenoid 1. By this way, farmer can get information what is the present status of moisture as well as which solenoid bulb is working and watering into the plant. We can check the status of the moisture over here and we can check the SLS status over here. RDNO is for controlling the moisture and GSM module to control the SMS. We may we try to make an flow sensor only using by two pins to check the whether there is flow or not.